one, yeah, you want to do some, some aptitude testing and things like that. Obviously, make sure that they can handle the responsibilities that are going to be assigned. But I think the key is, is do they fit, the, once again, the model, the vision, the culture of what you're trying to create. So if your vision is to bring freedom and to help people and to have a culture of family, then you need somebody that fits that. Because if you have somebody that doesn't fit that culture, no matter how capable they are, they're always going to be kind of the odd man or woman out, no matter what. You have to have a really good um, hiring process and system. So it starts with as, as soon as you get those resumes and where you put that platform and how you how you seek candidates. Um, and once you get those resumes going through, what we do is an initial interview, a group interview to see how they culturally fit, um, as well as a manager interview and then a final CEO interview. And that can be kind of burdensome. You know, it's a lot of steps and a lot of investment on our part, but it helps prevent things uh, later, you know, hiring, having a bad hire. We have an interview process that um, is pretty rigorous, um, but it starts with, um, you know, running the job posting and going through the resumes and trying to find somebody that's a good, uh, has a good skills fit to the position, but that's not really the main concern. And um, the main concern when we hire is that they are a cultural fit. So in the first round of the interview uh, is with me and I get to meet them. And I ask several questions that are not related to their job experience or their skills. And uh, people are quite surprised by that first round because they're expecting to come in and get drilled on their job experience and their, and their skills and their qualifications. Um, but my, my goal in that first interview is to, is to get to know the person, to really to try to get to know the person. You do a skills test, you do the psychology, you do an interview with Karen, which was totally... <laughs> Karen and Hunter were like, so we looked you up on the internet, we saw all your YouTube videos, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm kind of crass on the internet and I have purple hair, you know what I mean? But they're like, no, no, we love it, it's cool, you have personality. So um, one of the things that I do is I try to put the person at ease right away, and because I really want to sit down and have an hour and a half long conversation uh, with who, who they are. I want them relaxed, so I try very hard to put them at ease, get them to relax, not be nervous. And then once they settle down, you can, they start being themselves. And then I have a list of questions that I ask. Um, like, as I mentioned, they're not related to their job skills or their qualifications. It's, um, it's questions about how they view a job, their perspective about a job. Um, how they've handled um, situations on past jobs uh, following that company's core values. Um, also, how they feel about life in general. Um, what makes them happy? Um, what do they enjoy doing outside of work? Um, those types of questions. So, and and it, gives, it, it, it gives us an opportunity to get to know them a little bit on a personal level, not on a um, job skill level. And then, of course, as they continue through the interview process, um, uh, they're touched by probably eight to ten people throughout the entire process. You go out to lunch, and it, it takes a good while, but I, I really appreciate that um, series of things because it makes sure that not only are you a good fit for the company, do, does HR think that you'll work with the team? And also, let's get someone from every department to really make sure that there's not something wrong with this person and that we'll all kind of vibe with them. There's a saying that um, hire for character, teach skills. So I think we here at Avis very much follow um, along that lines. I think that it, it really goes to the interview process. I think that ours is very extensive. I mean, there's five steps as opposed to just one interview and then a follow-up interview like most places have. So I think that we're pretty good at that, um, but it really boils down to how you choose who you're going to hire people. You know, you, you give them the lunch that we have, the social lunch, to make sure that they're going to fit in with our culture, and you give them, um, you know, 
case studies to make sure that they can do the work that's necessary, things like that. The hiring process here is unlike anything that I've ever experienced before. It's lengthy, it's thorough, uh, but I think that helps find good people. And uh, so I think that's, that's why we have such a great team here is because you, know, you don't just let anybody in uh, work for Avis. That's something that I, I remember. My interview process was a couple weeks, and uh, you know, if somebody's not willing to invest that time to to work for a company, then maybe they don't belong here. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, most companies hire from you know from a managerial standpoint. It stops there. And, um, you know, to to most extent, most companies don't really care what everyone else thinks about who they're hiring. This is who they're hiring. And you you can get on board, um, but uh, over here it's you know it's different. And so, you know, one of the things in our company has always been get the right people on the bus, and it's not just something we say because when we interview, you know, the the person goes through a lot of different, not just rounds of interviewing, but it's the types of interviews that they're doing, and it's the fact that they're seeing different people in every single stage of the way. And the hope really is that by the end of the process, not only have we had the chance to really decide and determine this person is right for Avis, but we want for that person to be able to determine Avis is right for me. It's really important to me to ensure that the process allows the candidate to really get to know us because I think it's unfair in an interview process to make it about us. You know, it is about us, and at the end of the day, we're the ones hiring, but if we're gonna devote everything to this person and, and we're expecting them to devote everything to us, I think it's important to spend enough time with them and show them enough of the company that they can make a lifelong commitment just like us. Um, so I think the process being as, as you know, thorough as it is, and not just thorough, but unique, in a sense that the person has has a chance to really see all the facets of the company, or a lot more than you normally would, and also get a real true glimpse of what it's like at Avis. I think that's really the best way that you can ensure that you do hire the right people.